Hello guys, welcome back. In this Laravel video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can install the Laravel 5.8. And after that, we will. These are the major steps what we are going to do during this video. First of all, we will learn how we can install this Laravel 5.8, then run Laravel, and we will do the first change in Laravel and reflect on the browser also and the file structure of the Laravel 5.8. And uh, we will also learn that. Uh, what is the major difference between 5.7 and 5.8 and guys if you are a very beginner in the laravel then don't worry you don't need to learn the previous version of the laravel 5.7 and 6 and all these because in the every version of the laravel there are just enhancements most of the around the 95 percent of the laravel is similar in the 5.6 5.7 and 5.8 just some enhancement are there that will be shown here okay so now first uh, of all how we can install the Laravel 5.6 5.8 and for that we have to go on the Laravel official site after that just click on the documentation I will go you everything with the step or step by step with the official site okay so here you can see that the installation okay so guys before that you must have to install the composer if you don't know how to install the composer the link is given in the description box also because if I am going to show you that how can install the composer then it will going to be a very long video okay so first of all uh, just need to just write a composer in your command line if composer installed then it will tell you uh, the composer version and everything otherwise it will give you a kind of error okay so it will showing that the composer installed the composer version in 1.6 okay so that's fine so just clear this video and now first command uh, is used for the uh, download the composer globally why the download composer globally it will help you to install the every new project very quickly otherwise uh, every uh, Laravel project will take your time if you don't want to install the globally then you can run the this command which is the composer create project but it will take uh, some extra time every, every uh, extra time in the every time okay and once you install this globally then you have to just run that one command it will, it will go into very quickly okay so I already installed my uh, composer globally so I am just going to show you that how you can do that other uh, it will take some time okay so I am not going to properly this bit it will this a uh, simple command and after that it will be just installed the uh, Laravel and nothing more than it okay so uh, for the save time I'm not going to install it again so just clear this screen and now just you have to uh, 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 create the new project for the installation for the command is very simple which is the Laravel new blog this is a 5.8 that's why I'm going to write here new blog 5.8 okay and just hit the enter and within some moment you will see that the new project will be created okay and after that we will learn how we can uh, do the changes and all things okay so this this is going to install within that time uh, I'm going to tell you how you can find the new changes if you are very familiar with the old versions then uh, go to the prologues and here you will find that the all kind of changes here okay so here you will find the release note and upgrade guide contribution and how you can use the api documentation and all okay so everything is uh, given here if you if you are just click on that then you will find out everything okay and within that time you will see that the laravel installed very quickly okay so uh, now i'm going to show you that how we can run this in the browser okay so first of all just go to the blog 5.8 and just run here php artisan serve and it will showing you that laravel development uh, deployment server start here okay just click on here and you will see that the laravel is opened here okay so you don't don't need to put it on the www folder and that you have to run that you can just simply run with that okay so now i am going to it in the folder so just removing it just go here and open the folder desktop and blog and just open it okay so these are the uh, 
this i'm going to little bit zoom out these are the folder structures we will go for the folder structure before that i'm going to show you uh, what we have to do for the first change just find your welcome.php file sorry welcome.blade.php file okay okay so just change here laravel to laravel 5.8 and refresh the page then you will see that this is the change is done okay so where you will find you will find inside the resource and view okay so now just discuss about the directory structure so first of all the app folder app folder is your major folder there you will write your uh, controller middleware here okay and you will find uh, write your uh, model also here the user model is here you can see that okay so after that uh, the second thing is the bootstrap sometimes you have to install the libraries and you have to write your library name here so that you can boot your file from here okay so uh, this is not for uh, if you are a beginner then you don't need to uh, take the headache about that okay this is the configuration file here you have to the configure database cache broadcasting and everything for example i'm going to open a database then you have to write here uh, env name and all these things okay so you can write your credentials here okay database will uh, help you to the connection with the database migration and all these things we will discuss all the uh, every single task and uh, every folder in the next upcoming videos a public folder help for the write the js and css and style and images and resource folder will be help you to the uh, showing the view localization and all these things router for uh, defining the routers here for these are these are the default route you can see that the welcome dot blade dot php are we are just opening that okay and the store is for downloaded the folder test for write the test cases vendor for used for the composer files and dot env file show you that this is the environment file and here you can write the db password username and all these things okay so these are the some uh, some other file like the composer dot json will file that tell you that how many packages and what are the package dependency are uh, used in your projects okay fine so these are the basic structure up, uh, about the how we can use the laravel how we can install the laravel let's say you don't want to uh, serve it on the uh, uh, any particular uh, port then you can also customize it so let's try it i didn't remember but let's try what is the command so if I just stop it, then I can write here PHP artisan serve minus minus port equal to nine triple zero and just hit the end. Okay, so we are now able to serve it in the nine thousand port. Okay, so because we uh, close the last one, that that's why it's also closed. So if you want to run on the two port, then you can also do that. Just write here PHP artisan serve, and now you will see that you can. Are able to run this on the both ports okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe our channel please like this video for and uh, please keep in touch for the more videos we are showing about the uh, about the Laravel 5.8 and uh, if you have any of question you can ask me in the comment box also so thanks guys thanks for watching this